finally here on most Buffalo. We are raising a glass and celebrating a very special birthday. Flying Bison Brewing Company is finally old enough to drink. The brewery turns 21 this year, but Tim Herzog, the man behind the popular beers like Rusty Chain and Aviator Red, started learning the ins and outs of beer making back in 1981. Well, actually, it started because I didn't like beer. When I was in high school, I was old enough to drink beer before I graduated high school back in the olden days. Admittedly, he tried some really bad beers in his day, but eventually found one that he liked. I had no idea what it was. It was just beer from Ireland, and I'm half Irish and half German, so I'm genetically pre-programmed to enjoy beer, evidently. And I brought it home, opened it, tried it, and said, wow, what a difference. Tim's wife gifted him with a home brew startup kit, and the real passion for beer started, well, brewing. The more I brewed, the more I liked it, so the more I brewed, the more I liked it. The Rochester native turned Buffalonian originally wanted to be an art teacher and or graphic designer, but subbing and freelancing wasn't paying the bills. So he started taking brewing more seriously and set out on a new adventure. I had to start at City Hall licensing with explaining, okay, here's what a brewery is, and here's what a brewery does and kind of invent a road to be able to walk down it and um, more than a little challenging. When we first opened our doors, there were two brew pubs in town. There's Buffalo Brew Pub and Pearl Street. We were the first to distribute beer. We were the first distributing brewery to fully open in Western New York in 100 years. But the day that we opened and I started putting kegs in a, in a pickup truck that you know, a friend of mine drove and I delivered uh, 480 some dollars in our checking account. And so we talk about starting out underfunded, but it was either start or don't start. Well, you're not going to finish if you don't start. Flying Bison operated out of a warehouse on Ontario Street in Riverside for 14 years. Then in 2014, the New York State Craft Act allowed for tap rooms, so they set up shop on Seneca Street. Tim says it's a place where people can try what they want, find what they like. They can learn something about here in a no pressure environment. There's no beer snobbery here. Tim's son Colin was just 14 when his dad started flying bison. He was kegging beer by the age of 18. Now he's a brewer and does paperwork and packaging and pretty much everything in between. I still feel so much gratitude and yeah, just every time I see like Rusty Chain on a shelf, I'm reminded of when we very first made the, the first batch of Rusty Chain. You know, you still have that same spark, you know, still super proud of the beer. And uh, yeah, it really uh, makes you feel as though you've been doing something worthwhile. The idea behind opening this was not to just, you know, get open, whack out a few beers, make some dough, get on a boat. Uh, it was about building something that would last through generations. The passion and popularity are growing in Western New York. Today, there are three dozen breweries from Batavia to Jamestown. It was such a boutique thing for so long, and still to a certain degree. But now, um, because it has made such a significant economic uh, impact and cultural impact that, you know, there are so many more resources. There's so much more available for uh, both the, the drinker and the brewer. Flying Bison is celebrating their success with a big outdoor party this weekend featuring the polka rock pop band, Those Idiots. It's really just, hey, let's get together and celebrate this accomplishment and have a good time. That's as complicated as it is. We've got all of the party details with this web story. You can find it right now at WGRZ.com. Cheers to 21 years, Flying Bison. Here's to 21 more. That does it for us here on Most Buffalo. Channel 2 News first at 5 starts now.